being that I've been on crutches for almost two years now, I have learned where walking is best and where it's not. And unfortunately, the beach for a long time has been an absolute no-go. You just can't walk on the beach. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. And I know a lot of disabled people who use a walking aid will probably say the same thing. It's not a done thing because of how difficult it really is. And beach walking is not anywhere near as easy when you've got two metal sticks or if you're in a wheelchair or heck if you use a walking stick it's not anywhere near as easy because the thing that you rely on to walk sinks into the ground with all the stones or the sand and today's video is really to just show you how difficult it really is and with obviously the current lockdowns and the need for people to social distance it's all very 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 stressful when going for a walk on the beach because if you do have a path that you walk on people just walk in front of you walk straight beside you they don't really care they're not going to move around you or if and if you walk on the stones you exhaust yourself that much quicker and it's all you sink and in one of my videos a clip in, in there actually shows that I got stuck in I think it was quicksand but I'm not 100% sure I sunk incredibly quickly like my stick just went and I couldn't get it out um, and I'd like to say mud but I'm I'm not 100% sure I'm not really sure what I sunk into but it could, be, could it even be clay either way I don't know what I sunk into but I sunk and I sunk really quickly it was quite scary actually because my foot was sinking my left leg that was holding me up was sinking as well which was but you'll see that in the clip um which then leads me on to my next idea so i have been looking forever on different crutches feet feet that you stick on the crutches and that can help you with different terrains given what you need and since in winter here in the uk there's mud or there's literally mud everywhere. It rains pretty much all the time. If not rain, it's cold. And then it's like, yeah. So pretty much every walk that we we went on in summer, went in during the summer of lockdown, has kind of had to be stopped because going for a walk on mud is exactly the same problem as going for the walk uh, for a walk on the beach you just can't do it it's not an easy thing with two metal sticks that just sink into the ground and they're they're my aid they're my legs equivalently they're literally the thing that helps me walk and without them i can't go anywhere <laughs> so i've been think i've been looking into buying some i've been looking absolutely everywhere and i just can't find anything so with this mini series i plan on creating different types of crutches feet and basically trying them out to see how well they actually do they might be a complete and utter waste of time but i want to be 100 percent sure i know what's what, what's going on and i would absolutely love to take all of you on that journey so if you want to see that, please like and subscribe and follow my channel to see when I actually create them.
So as you can see on the sand, when I walk over the wet sand, it actually creates quite a big indent in the actual ground. So I kept sinking quite dramatically, but not enough to completely throw me off since it was equal either side. I'm sorry, I just had to show vid quite a few videos of the sunsets because they were absolutely amazing on both times I went for a walk. Now the rocks were really quite slippery and um, I had to be really careful when walking over them because they were also really jagged. So they weren't just like small rocks, they were big and jagged and slippery. Worst combination for when you're on crutches. Now here I actually got stuck because my, su my crutches sunk really quickly into something. I think it was clay, but I'm not 100% sure. And I pulled so hard, but I couldn't get it out to begin with. So I used my other stick to try and ease it out, but that wasn't working since my left leg was sinking. And if I put my crutches, my left, my right crutch down, it would have actually sunk as well. So I just had to pull and pray that the foot of my crutches didn't come off because they have done that before in mud and it's not fun trying to fish it out, especially on a night as cold as that. Oh, and by the way, I was also rocking my Equalite hat. I've done a review on them before, so go and check that video out if you get a chance. Now this sand was actually kind of firm, which was great because I didn't sink and I didn't have to be as worried about sinking. But as you can see, it, ha it can change in an instant. Now transitioning to the stones was also relatively difficult because my crutches were sinking, they were uneven, and the wind did not help because it actually almost blew me over at one point. Same with the stones here, I was sinking quite a bit more and it was really, really difficult to manoeuvre because of how deep I was actually sinking. Now it's always fun trying to climb a massive great big step, but I got there.
because this runner was really not going to stop, I had to dive into one of the gaps of the um, huts. You're very welcome. Now this is my brother wanting to show off a stone that my mum found, but it's like it has waves in it. At least this runner did say thank you. Same with this guy. But these people, no. Climbing stones is never easy and with the amount of times you sink and how uneven you constantly are, it is a very, very difficult workout. The amount of breaks I had to take when climbing up the stones 